Alright, so this, this next one is my last poem. And uh, I just want to give it up to, to everyone who's here in this room today, who's here for the same purpose of sharing and celebrating our Filipino culture. You know, we put a lot of work and a lot of effort and a lot of time into these Filipino organizations that we're part of across the Midwest. And, you know, I don't think there are many schools that have any programs that talk specifically about Filipino history or Filipino heritage and culture. So this whole learning process that we go through is something that we do, you know, on our own and we help each other out a lot. So this next poem is for, for all y'all in here in honor of MFAS 2014. And uh, especially for Tiger, Megan, and Lou, who were with me at the event that um, inspired this poem. So we were at Costco one time, and you know how when a Filipino sees another Filipino and you give each other that look, and then you wait to see which one of you is gonna ask if they're Filipino first? So we see this lady at Costco, she's doing like the tasting thing that they have, and we're like, hey, are you Filipino? She's like, yes, I'm Filipino! And then we have this little like back and forth going on about how we're so proud to be Filipino. And then comes the inevitable question, she looks at all of us, and she says, so do you speak Tagalog? And we look at each other and we're like, no, Tita, we don't speak Tagalog. And she's like, I, then you're not really Filipino. So this is an open letter to the lady at Costco who said we weren't Filipino enough because we couldn't speak Tagalog. First of all, you're wrong. First of all, my mama is from an island in the Visayas and over there, we speak Cebuano. And you should know that there are over 120 dialects in the Philippines. Tagalog is just one of them. And where we're from, we hardly need it. So no, I don't speak it. And who says my lack of language skill makes me any less Filipino than you? Or you, or you. I may not be able to read and write in my mother tongue, but I sure as hell bleed red, yellow, and blue. And I know that Katipunan led the revolution. I know Jose Rizal was executed because his writing spoke the truth. I know that the Filip that Americans recruited Filipinos to fight their war on our soil. I know that Filipino veterans didn't get the benefits that they deserved. I know this because I am proud of my roots. My Lolo fled to the caves in Pangasinan during the Japanese occupation of World War II. Planes flew over the countryside and dropped bombs overhead. My mother marched with Edsa. She lived through the Marcos regime. She protested in front of military tanks in the Manila streets. Don't you tell me that I'm not Filipino. I may be in America, but I carry the Philippines with me. It's in my veins. It's in my soul. It is more than just language, it is more than just food, it is, it is a state of being, it is a swelling of pride, it is by a nihan in the face of adversity. It's knowing your roots, even when you've been uprooted. So to the lady at Costco, who said we weren't Filipino enough because we couldn't speak Tagalog, no, I do not speak Tagalog, and I shouldn't have to apologize for that. Thank you everybody, have a great day.